hey guys welcome back so my last video um we had a video on how to set mysql to the system variables of your computer that is basically is how to set add mysql to the path of your machine of your computer sorry which you can actually access your mysql server using cmd so this is a very powerful concept and you save you the time and if you love to like write multiple queries you can actually do it on cmd so i had a video on that and the link will be described below so if you haven't watched that video yet i advise that you go down and check it out before come back and continue watching this video thank you so i've set up some questions here let's just view it out okay so on today's work we're going to learn how to create a user account through cmd using our normal mysql query that we're going to run you see that and number two viewing the created the created user and trying to lock lock yeah trying to log in with the user information okay then um task theory how to create a view through cmd to optimize your database so i will explain what is a view shortly just hang on and watch to the end now number four how to drop a view and now number five how to retrieve data from our database now let's open our cmd and start working okay so press the windows key and type um cmd okay make sure to run as administrator okay okay so now when you have run as administrator just forget about this okay now you need to log in into your mysql server now just type this information mysql dash u u stands for the user and my username is root and type dash h a stands for um, local host that is the host uh, and type dash so dash p that stands for the password and it will pop up the entire password so if you don't have any password but if you have a password already set up make sure to enter the password now since we i have no password just press enter again and now you're logged in now let's just see our database show databases okay so basically these are my two databases that i have this python and it's called mysql and sakina okay now our first question was how to create a user now to create a user just type the following command with me to create a user just type um create user now mind you um depending on the version of your mysql some other mysql um servers when, uh, or mysql version won't take um won't take some syntax that i'm writing here so i want to give my username cedric um, zero one and now we need to put a host that this cedric is going to log into percentage now why i'm saying percentage is that i want this cedric to log in from any host okay now i want to put um the password so identify identified by now I need to put a password and now I need to be shown as so make sure you remember this password because I'm, I'm going to show you later how to actually see your password the host of this user but the password is going to be encrypted so you need to me memorize this password as the database administrator okay now you have an error on your mysql syntax check the man and that respect to mysql server version now this is what i was saying that um the mysql version like i'm using my db server version and now the syntax that i write here will be different for other syntax so if you're doing this this syntax might not work on the server that you're running and it will maybe you should try to download a more higher uh, version and make sure to have the manual now let's go back and correct this um, mistake that we have so we have a create um, user surgery identified by now we need to make sure to we have a mistake here identified inside the chat identified okay now we're good now the query is okay now we have created one user let's try to create another user again 
a great um, user now let's use another name for this user and we want to call it um, set and now you need to make sure you always specify the host that this user is going to always log in into now here i want to still put um, percentage which means that this user can log in from any account that is any host sorry now i need to put the password which is identified make sure you're careful when typing it identified bye and i just want to repeat this password again but yours might be different because you want to choose maybe another password for yourself okay now this password is okay now for a tip on this i want to just take a few times to show you how to actually see the users that you have created so just type this command okay go under my sql type my sql okay now type on um, show tables i can actually do this a shuttle way but i just want to show um you guys that are just starting okay I load all the tables that we have. We have currently 32 tables under MySQL. Okay, now type select um, user. Want to get a user and um, a host? Okay, for a tip um, the, and the password from MySQL. Let's see what under my from user. Okay, now we return every account that we have and the password. Now this is what I was saying. You look at the password, it's like it doesn't make sense. This is what I was saying. I make sure you always remember the password because this you need to de-encrypt it um, before you can see the password. Now let's see what we created. Uh, we created Cedric01. Okay, this is it. This is Cedric01 and this is the host uh, percentage. All the percentage it means these users can access our server from any server, like from the internet, they can see any host, they can access our web server but by using their password okay now we're done with this now let's go on to our next question okay now um view the created user information trying to log in with the user information okay now let's exit since um we are in the root directory that is we are assuming we are the database administrator now we need to exit just press ctrl c to exit now let's use um the information for cg and see if you can log in from, from so the first time we use root now we're going to use um surgery zero one so like basically we are testing this we're testing this account if this account can actually log into our mysql server put localhost and let's put p and you ask for, for your password now you need to put the password that you put earlier so um it was soon as remember and bingo now you have logged into this account aha uh -huh okay now um let me show you something this is just a tip on what i'm going to upload next if you type show grants you just see you just show you but um this i can basically have but usage on start does this so i'm going to explain all this on the next video so if you're interested make sure you hit the notification button to get more of this on my next video that i'm going to upload because i'm going to explain all of this and we're going to do more cool things together okay control c the exit from here let's go back to our root directory which, which we access earlier okay now we are done with that we have tried to log in with the information that we created earlier with our user cedric01 okay now let's go to our other question okay now um how to drop okay number three sorry how to create a view through cmd to optimize your database so i'm going to explain what is a view and we're going to this, do this together okay so what is a view a view is basically let's say a shorthand code that you write that that does repetitive works for you that is assume let's take for example let's use this database by don't let's go on mysql now let's uh, show tables okay now it's under this um these are the tables under this python underscore uh, these are the tables under our python underscore mysql now um it, assume that you're a database administrator and every day you log into your mysql server you always retrieve um let's say information from this book table now you can actually just write um like a short view a short view if you just like a simple fragment of code or um 
just a quick, simple fact of code that you write that does a, a repetitive work for you that you can just call that view and it return what you have inputted in the view so let me just show you how it's done <coughs> so to create a view into execute a create view statement view and you need to give the view name so now let's assume okay before creating this view let's do this other way then i'll show you how to do it using the view okay now let's say select um let's say select um star from books so we return everything that you have on that books you see we return everything i have Underbook. It means that every day as a database administrator, if you want to like to view everything that we have on that books, you always need to come and run this command that select star from books, which is like kind of boring. So to like optimize your work that that is to make you more efficient, that you not need to type this long command every day or this long query every day. You can just like write a view and place it under this uh, Python underscore MySQL uh, database. Okay, now let's create a view that we execute all of this but by just writing a view that we just write it just a simple piece of code that we're going to do all of this for us okay let's do that now to do to create a view i explained the view earlier so execute the create view statement and give a view a name let's say the name of our view is um let's see let's make that our books okay okay now type as now what is the command that we want this have you to do now we have select i want you to always select star from books right is what we want is what we want that our view should do so anytime we type this select star from our books it will turn this query that we have in between inside this view okay now we have query okay now anytime we call this we call this view our books it will return this that is just like a loop it will return anything that we are, just like a function sorry it will return everything that has inside it when you just like call it okay now let's call it and see what it does it will still give the same output as this query it did the first time so let's do that and see so let's say um so let's say um select um, star sorry from we named it as um our books right our books okay i hope that's the spelling is correct okay it's correct now if you just hit it we return everything that it did at the first time now let me explain this again now this create view our books this is the name of our view is the create view statement when it, you call this view it will execute this command here that is select star from books that is what a view basically is a view is just like helping you to optimize your work so that every day you won't come and type this select star from books okay now um let's see our, our other task now we have how to draw views okay now as now I'm going to show you how to basically see the number of views that you have in um, a particular database. So to do that, type show full tables. Okay. We type full tables in. Now this is a, a view that we created earlier. This our books. This is it here. And these are other views that I did earlier. This is it. Now I zoom. We want to drop this view. We don't want it any longer. I want to drop it. Now just execute the drop view command. Drop um, a view and it specify the view name, which is our books. Okay. Now and let's go on a show tables command again and see what it will give us. Now you see our our books view have been dropped. Now we have only two view as compared to this which you have to read and that is how you drop a view okay now so let's go to our uh, new driving data from the database okay so basically these are just um tips these are how to for as a database administrator as um a worker which you have been granted access to a particular database a table a column this is how you would drive data from the database 
so on my next video i'm going to show you guys how to actually gain privileges and privileges privi privileges are just like um let's just say another synonym for it is just like um granting someone the the how can i put it um granting someone the the authority or authentication to access something okay now um let's check now let's show uh let's execute the show database command databases it shows all of our databases and this is a python underscore mysql okay now let's uh, show tables it shows all the tables and if you want to see the information about the particular table just have to explain then you specify the table you explain what the table has it's been the primary key if he's going to increment that um the first name back at um some sort of thing so this is not what we're looking at let's just go into our select statement okay now if you want to see everything that you have under author that if you want to recharge the data you want to create this table to recharge every information under this table you just execute and select star form to specify the table name which is author right and yeah, this is everything you have under the author table I assume that um, the second situation you want to check only the ID you don't want the first name I don't want the last name okay so you just execute um, select ID from um, author I didn't spell out author correctly yeah, okay um, author right you see that's it it just displays you only the ID and it leaves out the other ones okay now um now let's see if we can do another cool thing with it again now let's see if we can recharge just this one the first name and the last name let's just recharge the first name and the last name so let's just type select um, star so you can just specify what you want to select so always make sure that this is the select statement that is the command then the condition come after then the star and what um the table name so wonder from first underscore name and make sure the condition are separated by comma and you have the one the last underscore name okay from specify where you want to take that from from bottom okay now this is it it displays only the first name and the last name now uh, i learned something the other day which is pretty cool and i would like to share with you guys now assume a situation that you want to select from that is you want to limit your selection i assume you want to select just from 1 to 30 voila if you want to select from 1 to 30 let's just say a situation like that you don't want to like you achieve all of the other data that are down here these other names okay so just execute the select um star from author then is from author sorry and specify a limit one from uh, from input that's from zero separate by a comma to 30 and it will displays you from one to 30 because it doesn't count zero so zero isn't correct value select okay um let's now rectify that it says selected everything okay let's do that one more time so let's execute now i want you guys to take a very clean look and if you can see the numbering here it like is not um let's say it is not progressive you have one you have two three four five you jump to seven jump to twelve jump to fourteen jump to nineteen so if you execute this um select let's do that again select let's do from one to five and let's see or let's do from one to ten select star from my auto table and you want to limit it from one to ten see that I made a mistake that is supposed to be separated by comma not um, adopt okay okay now if you can if you can count it will be 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you see it is 10 it counts it um that is this query counts the the table and it is turned from 1 to 10 
but since we don't have a, uh, we don't have any sort of chronology here we won't execute it properly okay now this is it guys so for more uh, for more tips let me show you guys something that is also cool that you can actually do so as a database administrator you can actually see assume you have created the users um so you want to see, like type something like process list and it is please you oh you didn't type that correctly process double c i think process list the command is um show process that is something like that i think i've forgotten this command let me check it out so as i was earlier saying um if you're a database um administrator and you want to see all of the users that are actively working on your uh, mysql server on or on a particular database you can actually see those users by just executing the, the show process list command join please sure she so join okay this is it it shows you the id the user the host which the user is working on the database and it shows you the command that the the, the person is executing it shows you the time the state the info and they have some all sort of um basic information so if you're a database administrator and you have many users that are currently working on your database and you want to see their status or you want to see what they are doing you can just actually um run in this command and you will see um their id and you can actually like queue a user by killing the user it just, it just means that you can actually shut the user down that is um restrict a user from accessing a particular database or strip him or her off from using that database that, that is what um killing actually means it doesn't mean like kill somebody actually okay now this is it guys thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video and i hope it really helps you a lot okay so i'm going to my next video is going to be on uh, how to grant privileges now to these users that we have created how to grant our privileges to them and how to the next video the, the next video sorry after that will be how to optimize our, our tables analyze them and to make some indexes okay so thank you very much for watching i hope you like subscribe share these links to your friends family members and i will see you later thank you very much